You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's X Factor After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's X Factor After Show. One, two, three. It's the X Factor at the show, at the show. It's the X Factor at the show, at the show. It's the X Factor at the show, at the show. Yeah. Wednesdays at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. On After Buzz TV. Dot com. All right, everybody, a little round of applause for the After Buzz, for X Factor After Buzz TV. Hey, guys, it's JC. We all know that Bing is for doing, and we're doing another after show on After Buzz TV. And this is the X Factor Season 2, Episode 21. Cheers to that. Salute. Cheers, yeah. everybody. All right. We've got a very special yeah. show today. As you can tell, we've got our, we've got our whole crew, except actually Nick's gone for the week, so... Sorry, Nick, you're gone, and we've got someone on the couch, and may I say she's quite the cutie patootie. All right, so <laughs> we've got Star from NCIS, The First Family, and Let It Go, Miss Layla Crawford. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you. She is the <laughs> biggest X Factor fan there is, so definitely she's going to be breaking it down with us tonight. But before I go any further... Let us introduce our wonderful host, starting with the lovely lady to my right. Hey, guys, I'm Melissa Macedo. Across the table. Hey, guys, I'm Michelle Macedo. I am Mark E. Allen. And running the ones and twos, who do we got? We got Martin back there, right? Martin. Yes, yes, we do. Martin. What's up, Martin? Martin. What up? Tin, I wanted to, tin. It's like oh. Mark in a tin. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to call him Martin, sorry. <laughs> Martin. There we you can go. do it, we're Latin brothers. There we go. Yeah. See. Put so, an accent on it. There we go. We got a lot of stuff to get to tonight, guys. And if you guys are watching us on AfterBuzzTV.com live, what's up, guys? Chat roll, you know, watch Tower Base, all you guys at home. But if you're not watching us, make sure to tune in on iTunes, YouTube. And on iTunes, make sure to comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. We'll, we got, we'll, we'll, we'll answer all your questions. Like, I know, Mark, you were busy all week on YouTube. Man, I was just, you know... Represent. There we go. So <laughs> it does help keep the lights on, guys. So with that said, impressions of this week. What did you guys, what did everyone think about tonight's show? What did you guys think of the, the acts? Well, first, I just wanted to say while you were looking at the camera, I was staring and um, reading the uh, teleprompter. So that's, that's <laughs> oh, one thing good. that I thought about. Just staring really intensely at the camera. You, you Probably move your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> while you do it. <laughs> yeah. Try and keep up. Years. Aside from that, it's a singing show. Yeah, everybody mm -hmm. stepped their game up last, you know, since last week, which they had to do because you know we've seen the same people in the top three, but you know they had to do something extraordinary to I, bring it. Yeah, bring everyone's it fighting for number mm. one. Some changes. So yeah, L Layla, what did you think? I thought they what? did a little better than they did last week. It was great. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we got a fan from last week. Well, yeah. let's mm -hmm. talk about last week because. We said goodbye to uh, one of a, a couple fan favorites, Erin Ray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, I, Beatrice Miller. That's mm -hmm. right. She knows. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and I know you, you're a big fan. Was it of Erin Ray? I liked Beatrice Miller a lot, mm -hmm. but I did like Erin Ray, too. Okay. Did right. you vote? Not yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Sweet. Saving it for tonight. Yes. All right, we'll get to it. Now, well, any surprises, guys? Well, that's what I was going to say. Um, JC, we, you know, we were here yesterday, last week without, without the Macedo twins. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to bring Sad something week. up that kind of I Horrible said. Week. Martin, do you have that clip uh, ready from, from last week? I just wanted to <laughs> roll that just to kind of see. Uh... Uh, I'm sorry, oh, we've run oh. out of time. 
Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, who's that guy? <laughs> who's that guy? Hey, iTunes viewers, uh, listeners, if, you're, if you can't watch, they're, they're, we're going to replay a great prediction by Mr. Mark Allen. Oh, that's good. Getting cut, no, no sing-off? No Let's two. see. Oh, okay, yeah, who's getting cut up right off the bat? Cut, Aaron Ray, done. Aaron Ray, done oh, and done? He's gone. All right. We'll fix the video and post. You, well, yeah. you more? I think that <laughs> right here, yeah. Aaron Ray is going to be gone off the bat. Um, and then, but I, I feel like it's going to be <laughs> CC and Beatrice battling out for the other one. For the sing-off? Yeah, okay. but I don't know who the heck's going to win that, though. Oh, Beatrice and CC. Yeah, it's going to okay. be weird tomorrow. Wait. I, I, that's what's going to happen. Okay. That's, that's, okay. <laughs> okay, you crystal ball, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, so, so, yeah, I predicted and knew what was going to happen. And you did said you she, didn't know who was. Yeah, you didn't. But no, I, I said exactly. Was gonna, I, you know, I knew who was gonna win. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to play favors. But play favors. You, you, you made fun of my crystal ball, and now I own the crystal ball. And now you know, it's so his next time you gotta trust me. Instead of saying Paige is gonna go home, because Paige is not gonna go home. Okay. Oh, no. See, you gave me an idea, so we're gonna start we're, next week. I'm gonna figure out how to bring in a crystal ball. Uh oh, yeah. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you should do that. Well, actually, since Mark clearly has a crystal ball, <laughs> yes. that's how he knew that. Yeah, that's right. It's Maybe a it's a golden he'll ball. Bring it. <laughs> it happens yeah. to be the after buzz yellow <laughs> ball. <laughs> it's and, fuzzy. And whoever wins will get to take the crystal ball home with Ooh, them, good one. and you'll keep the crystal ball for that week. Yeah, okay. So if you get the predictions week. right. <laughs> Let's do it. So we're starting next week. So we should draw a big X on it. There we go. So since Mark, you know, X yeah, and oh. trust me, I, I watched you know it. I saw it on YouTube. Yeah. All, all the YouTube people were saying, yeah, Mark got it so right. He's so right. He's so <laughs> wow. Good. So, Thank okay, you. kudos to Mark. Yeah, all right, that's all yeah, I want. I just want some brownie points. Yeah, yeah. yeah good yes. job. I'll all toot right. my own horn on live air. <laughs> yeah, you just made us rewatch it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. So any, sh any shocks that, you know, like CC was, uh, I guess, what, eighth and... Um, Fifth Dimension was seventh. Any surprises from last week? Fifth Dimension does I mean, fifth, exist. Harmony, fifth Harmony. But, yeah. <laughs> I did uh, not even get, catch that. I don't see many surprises, um, obviously. <laughs> I was right. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I think this week is going to definitely change. All right, so let's not wait any longer. Let's get into this week. All right, so this week they had to sing number one hits. And... We can start with Britney's team because I know someone has a, is a big fan of Ms. Diamond White. So, Layla, I know you're a big fan of Diamond. So, what do you think of her, of her Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody? Did you like it tonight? I loved it. It was really good how, it, like, they popped all of the balloons when it came down. It was really fun. So, so, mm. so you're a fan. Okay. All right. So, did, now, did anyone feel the same thing? You know, just like a change of pace for her, perhaps? You know, because usually she's always singing those big, very serious, dramatic songs. And this yeah. was fun. It yeah. was fun. It was it was uh, refreshing, as I think Demi said that it was uh, it was more her age, mm -hmm. and they weren't trying to like dress her up as this like older person because she has such a uh, mature voice. Um, and it was fun, and I liked at the beginning how it was like slow. It was different. It made me actually listen to the words. Uh, so, yeah, I thought it was, uh, good, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. nice, okay. <laughs> so, so yeah. it's winning some people over. I liked how it started slow and kind of still, we ventured into the normal diamond white arena and then it turned into a party. Right. Yeah. yeah, and the fact that she, you know, she did Whitney Houston again, she had to switch something up and not do exactly what she, she did. Um, so I liked the acoustic, you know, kind of chill beginning. Like yeah. they said, and the dancers definitely worked for her because uh, with this show, a lot of times, you know, these people are not used to performing with a huge stage and all these dancers, so it kind of looks out of place. But for her, I feel like it definitely, it definitely worked, and the ending, you know, just it kept on getting better and better. So, mm -hmm. okay, well, so, yeah. so, so good week. Everyone's yes. in agreement. Okay, you liked her? I did. It, I thought it was a great change of pace. Um, I'm afraid she, because now we're down to eight, so you have to be amazing. Honestly, and I think when they when the second half of the song, it was tricky. I thought it was uh, it was hard for you know for I Diamond. Agree. So it, it it was like distracting or something to be moving so much right. that I yeah. think that it may have like taken away from it performance. Well, well, and now what we do here, Layla, is we keep it to the judges. So we're gonna go now from from Diamond. We're gonna go to our favorite, some of our favorite. Sorry, I'm editorializing. Carly Rose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Carly. See, oh. Yeah, she's already <laughs> clapping. Mm -hmm. Carly Rose is, just, she's killing it. 
She's amazing. She's seen yeah. Adele. And we do the a lot of these shows. Mm -hmm. when, That's the death sentence to sing Adele. Adele. And Whitney Houston, which was like the first one, but it was okay. But Adele, so just because she's so relevant right now. Current, yeah. Um, and anyone else's voice singing it sounds wrong. Mm -hmm. right. So did, was, she, was, she wrong, was she wrong in Most singing it? Most of the time. <laughs> no, she actually sounded great. I thought she was the best performance tonight. Ooh, mm. bold words. She has such control yeah. over her voice, especially for her age. And although she may not be, um, uh, like, connecting or in the way that maybe she would if she were older or something, mm -hmm. if she were Adele, or if yeah. she were Adele, mm -hmm. um, she, I thought she was awesome. She has an amazing voice. It's crazy. That's the thing, too, about um, her performance. What um, Demi Lovato had said was um, she's very predictable every week you know she's starting to you know do another ballad or whatnot um, this I felt like this performance was so unpredictable because first you know th she threw the hat on and changed her image up a little bit and she definitely sounded like a 13 year old girl like superstar rather mm -hmm. than like someone just out of her realm um, so I just I just mm -hmm. like I, I, the very beginning with the in the falsetto stuff she was doing rather than belting it right off the bat mm -hmm. and then it built it built with that uh, that drum beat that came in so she did the same thing kind of like Diamond White did they really focused on the build of the songs this time and she smashed it like yeah. her control is just ridiculous yeah, yeah it is and we all agree even Simon thinks that she's just not human yeah she's a robot <laughs> no, yeah. you're, you're laughing too you were clapping too was she your favorite Layla she's one of my favorites oh. and I like like the song she was singing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because she started with like the beat because sometimes it would just start lumpy and mm -hmm. bumpy. Mm -hmm. oh, I like yeah. the texture. Yeah. 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 She knows her stuff. So. Yeah, not lumpy at all. Anything you see, anything you see, any, do you see anything wrong with her performance, Melissa, at no, all? No, nothing wrong. Because we're always gushing about her, but it's, is there something she could improve on or more wind? <laughs> yeah, a little more wind. Uh, yeah. Maybe fire or fog, dry ice. Yeah, <laughs> who knows? Do you notice that they actually more money on production? More money on yeah. production. You think the so? The budget is just lacking. Clearly, uh -huh. it's like taping streamers to the wall. You heard, you heard it there, X Factor guys. You guys got to step it up. Yeah. No, you know what though? Did you notice that she she got some of Beatrice's styling because she got a little hat this week? She did have a hat. I like yeah, the yeah. hat. Yeah. So, so every, the, because Beatrice was the funky one, and now that she's gone, I think it's going to open up Carly even more. They're like, because at first they were trying to make differentiate between Beatrice and Carly. Yeah. Now that she's gone, now there, there's more to play with. There's more mm -hmm. wardrobe to choose from. There, yeah. <laughs> no, they're like we have all this extra. <laughs> Do you want it? All right. All right. <laughs> but yeah. but here's the thing. L. A. said that this wasn't her best song. <clears throat> wasn't her best performance. But what is it? Her at her. Your your second best is better than everybody here's first best or something yeah. like that. Then why are we doing a show? Yeah, then, yeah, then the show's over. Give over. her the prize. Because of a contract, JC. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> Khloe Kardashian <laughs> is signed on to do a certain number of episodes. Okay. But literally, I mean, saying that, it, it just defeats the whole purpose of the drama that they try to build throughout the whole show. Well, if the show was all up to L.A. Reid. But. but that's the thing, too, because then you're like, oh, you know, everybody thinks she has a free pass to stardom. Is she going to get the votes that needed? So... I think someone there's there's someone left in this group that may challenge her, but we'll get to him a little bit later. Oh. Oh, oh, yes. no. Let's well, since we're speaking of hymns, let's talk about <laughs> that made no sense. Good segue. Yes. Let's move, let's move on to LA's team and Mr. Vino Alon, not Mark's cousin. Yes. Yes, not Vino. Mark. It's not proved yet. Yes. So, um, yeah, there was some drama this time around him. Yeah, he's a front runner, but what happened this week? Yeah, well, you know, L.A. changed his song at the last minute, and it seemed like L.A. was being super critical of the other song choice, but I just felt like the second song choice was poor. Yeah, what was the first one? I forget. Um, yeah, it was, um, if I don't love you if, by if you knew. Now. I don't know the words. Oh, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 if, you, if you don't know me by yeah, now. Oh, yeah. You Simply right. He said, it, yeah, he said the chorus was very repetitive, so he gets sick of it by the end of the song. But I feel like that might have been a better song choice because I feel like he definitely sounded good, but it just the whole time I was thinking, like, why is he, why is he singing this song? Like, yeah. He sounds okay doing it, but why why is he singing this? Yeah, yeah. and also What's he saying? was, like, hunched like that the whole time, mm -hmm. and his neck was, like, out, and he was, like, 
<laughs> he does that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does. But it was like for a really long time this time. Hmm. You know, he didn't change it up. I clearly he was nervous, and I don't know who reacts worse under pressure, L.A. or uh, Vino Vino, Alon. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's they're Vino. both the team. Like they both, I think it was just like bad choices all around. Yeah, and something about him being like okay with being number three, and oh, LA oh, was like, you should not be He doesn't approve okay. with mm -hmm. that complacency. Right. The fact that people take that attitude bothers him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's like, that's awesome. I'm number three, which is, <laughs> yeah. I would think is a great attitude to take. And you know, Cece should maybe take on a little bit of that. But we'll get to her. But uh, you know. You know, but L.A. did not like number three. He said three doesn't sell records. One well, don't does. worry. He, he won't be three tomorrow. Mm. Mm -mm. Not at all. Mm. I have what a, did you, you think about Vino? I think he was great, but he started a little shaky, but he got better. In the, when he got into the song. Right. Did you like the reggae version of it, like with the, right. the different beat and stuff? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I felt like that was a fun transition, a cool bridge mm -hmm. to it. That's mm -hmm. when I started paying <clears throat> paying attention more. Before I was uh, kind of zoning out. Layla, mm -hmm. I, I think you and I need to switch spots because you're spot on. He start. I thought he started. Like, <laughs> you know, he did. I thought he started too high. And the problem is when you start too high, you, I learned this from a coach, and not a singing coach, of course, but as a vocal <laughs> coach, if you start too high, you have nowhere to go. Right. And so by right. him starting high, it, where do you go from there? Right. So. It, it just the whole performance was off for me. Mm -hmm. So I I actually think he could be in serious trouble tomorrow. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he's could been be. one of the front runners. Just so. Shake it up. But now we're down to eight. That's what I'm saying. One bad week and you you're out. You, oh yeah, I you can't could afford be out. One bad so, week. so maybe a guy who's been what in the top all along, Mr. Tate Stevens, Mr. Um, yeah, on Twitter actually we're we're getting blown up guys because um, we've been saying that it's a white guy with a guitar because that's what goes on in Idol. That the guy with the white guy with the guitar uh -huh. usually went. Right. And they said, well, he's not the white guy with the guitar because he doesn't have a guitar. He hasn't <laughs> used a guitar yet. But and he this week. He did. All right. <laughs> did, it, did it hurt or help him this week? Per personally, it, uh, I mean. Was it, did it count? Are, are you going to call him out? Yeah. Uh, you going to do it? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm a guitarist. You're a guitarist. Maybe it's just that it bugs me. Mm -hmm. But uh, personally, I <clears> think that. Uh, him just inconsistently strumming doesn't make it look like he knows how to play. Also, he looked like it was like a blocking him. It was like an object blocking him. He was like trying to get around it the whole right. time, like dancing, and it, and it looked like it was in the way. I think it was um, Simon that said, don't dance, Tate. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he looked, he got this really embarrassed look on his face. I didn't feel like his dance, I mean, he was just kind of getting into the music. You have to for that. Yeah, um, you can't So just... I didn't think it was, that part was bad. I felt like the song choice was amazing. I felt like he definitely needed that. He needed that type of song, something new, something current. Keith Urban plays the heck out of the guitar when he plays it. Tate Stevens kind of, like she said, just, <laughs> just had it there, which, which in country music they do a lot. You know, Garth Brooks will do it. Um, like Kenny Chesney, they'll have their guitar out there and just play a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, we'll call him out, and he definitely, I don't think he needed it. Yeah, I don't think he needed it. I think it was Mark, that necessary. did you play guitar at the beginning of this show? <laughs> you, you did. But did, no, but <laughs> did, did you, you know, you really right, played yeah, it, right? Yeah. And you could tell because you didn't stop playing it. Right, yeah, yeah. I was going to go for a clap, though, just like he, he did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 got to do next it. Week, next, next week, week. Yeah. next okay. week. Next week, next week, yeah. Um, but yes, <laughs> but you cool could tell choice. he wasn't a guitar player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. see, yeah, Layla could tell. She, yeah. You saw right through him. <laughs> now, do you like Tate? Was that, is that one of his, he's not one of you, is he one of your favorites? Not, not really, not but I do like him. But you like him. He's got a good voice, though, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. He's super fun. So did you guys not think that it was predictable? What the song? Tate. Yeah, but that's what he does. Yeah, I felt like it was a good song choice, but and, yeah, it was. <laughs> and, and, and his vocals were amazing in it. Yeah, I he just couldn't stop good. looking at the guitar though. Now, mm -hmm. do you and um and he, what's it called? He uh, dedicates every song to his wife. Right. <laughs> which, which well played, yeah, made, sir. Yeah. Well played. I know. Yeah. Which Demi and, and Simon got into it again. Yes, all they night. were on and each other. I think other more of the competition or the tension is between the judges or between Demi and Simon mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. anything else. They are really going at it. They just disagree, I feel like, to disagree. Is it Why? Why Is it just for good show, strategy? It's is almost it, like why Michelle always disagrees with what I have to say. Right. Just it's for the show. Like just for the show. Mark, that's no, just I because don't. you're ridiculously good looking. That's hey, why. There you go. That, it, may, <laughs> it makes everyone really angry. Now we know how <laughs> JC feels, though. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's right. like, I know You're why. Right. Hey, I want to br- bring up another clip. Um, no, I'm just <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> That's okay. I'm, I'm, we're going to switch it up now because we all like Tate and. I mean, Tate. I mean, it's Paige. Wait, are, who are we on now? Tate. Paige. Oh, yeah, Paige. See? No, Layla's on it. Yeah. Layla mm-hmm. is on it because that's the next person we're going to talk about. We're going to move on. We're going to move on to Demi's team and mm-hmm. starting with Paige. See? Layla, Layla oh, yeah. I'm telling you, we're partners. This is this is cool. All right. What do you? I actually think that she should take your place. I think she should, too, actually. <laughs> I next don't think you're partners at all. Ne- it's, okay. it's like a Chloe Mario situation <laughs> happening here. <laughs> yeah, you really see a JC floundering <laughs> when he's next to the master. I know. That's you, Layla. <laughs> Layla. You're the master. Now, what do you think about... Listen, what do you think about Cece? I like Cece, but, like, like the production back there, it was, like... People were focusing like on the dancers and like stuff, it, and it wasn't like really focused on her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You thought it was distracting. Yeah, it's too mm-hmm. much. Yeah, it was what it, a lot. L.A. Reid called it a circus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. He, even though he said he enjoyed that circus. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> are, Do you want me to, uh, Mark? I mean, this is your girl, Mark. So I this is me. This is Nick. Nick Collins' yeah, girl. <laughs> no, no, that's Cece. Oh, we're talking about Cece. Oh, we're, yeah. We're, we're talking, talking about Paige. No, we're talking about Cece. Yeah, you. Are we talking about Cece? Yeah, we're talking yeah. about Cece. Okay. <laughs> we, yeah. yeah. This is my last day but. after this. <laughs> 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 yeah. Cece, like I felt that. like the um, the staging, I kind of liked the staging, um, but it did take away from her completely. Um, I, just, I, I thought it was, the stage was cool. Um, but with her, she definitely could only get better from the last two weeks. I felt like she's definitely lost her voice. And now that she was kind of doing like a... a uh, not so great uh, Christina Aguilera impression. Mm-hmm. It, it um, she sounded better. Her voice definitely sounded better. Like if Christina Aguilera didn't exist, I'd be like, wow, she had good vocals. <laughs> but now that she sounded just like her, I was like, oh, it wasn't up to par. Kind of like the Adele or Whitney Houston type of thing. Um, yeah. But I mean, I don't know. I, I think the only thing that could help her stay in this competition is the fact that she went second to last. That they'll remember her, because mm, yeah. if she would have went first or something, I think they would just forgot about her. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know if that's enough to bring her back. I, I do feel like, I feel like at this point, like we have to connect with her more, and this was not a song that really I brought mean, about an emotional connection. Let's say. Well, right. I mean. You didn't connect to. CC. I mean, the, I think she really Marmalade. did really well. You yeah. know, it's like its own thing. Well, but in terms of like who's gonna go home and stuff, you know, maybe it wasn't the best week to pick this song. Yeah, you know what? Uh, okay, so I was a teenage girl when this song came out. I know every single part, and you know when Maya sings it, when Pink sings it, mm-hmm. when Lil Kim sings it, when Christina sings it, and all I heard was like a friend next to me in the car doing all the impressions as loud as she possibly could. At the end, she even did like note for note the exact uh, runs that Christina was doing. She didn't own it at all. I thought it was karaoke in the worst way. (laughs) It was awful. I know she's more talented than that. She also like went off pitch like a thousand billion times. Michelle, tell us how you really feel. Yeah, like don't hold back. And she, okay, <laughs> and she also was like, you guys put me in the top, or you let me go to the top, the oh, bottom yeah. too again. That was, yeah, yeah she, that was bad. Like, I don't understand, like what are we gonna do? I like, feel like that was like a <laughs> fatal editing, like they edited it, you know, so it just looked horrible. And it was, mm-hmm. I mean, that's all, just. That. Why would anybody say that? Wow. Did, did you like it, JC? Actually, I'm not going to answer it as JC. I'm going to answer it in the place of Nick Collins, Ooh, since okay. Nick isn't okay. here this oh, week. Right. You should do an impression of him. <clears throat> yeah, you should. Funny thing. No, um, no, no, actually, no, 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 no. <laughs> is, is it the best? No. Is she going to win the competition? No, but I thought she was great. And definitely, it was her best performance of the show so far. That's, really? Yeah. Really. I'm just really? Like, tonight's show? So, no, yeah. Do, no, I literally, guys, literally, <laughs> she is really the best. Uh, um, her vocal tone, sure, it was a little iffy, but it, can, it carried her throughout the song. I think she's going to be around for another week or so. Call me. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was my Nick Collins. Nick, hope you feel better. We'll see you soon, buddy. 
<laughs> All right, so now we got to move to the second half of Demi's team, and that was Paige. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, Layla knows. So what would you guys think about Paige? Paige is always kind of... We know Mark knows that yeah. Paige is that's your girl. I, yeah, I, I want to go, okay. go last. Though. I want to. Okay, we'll see. I want to. I want to defend. This is a team. Uh, wow. You know, I, I thought it was really good. Um, I thought it, I really liked that they started slow because it gave it. She could kind of do both in one song. Like she could kind of like showcase her voice in a really great way, and then turn it into like a dance thing, like a poppy upbeat thing. Um, i and I think that's like who she is. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Disagree? Do we agree? What you, Layla? What'd you think of uh, Paige? I thought she was great. I loved the song, and it was awesome. You've got good taste because that song's from like <laughs> like way back, like 1988. Rick Astley. If Martin can, if you can pull that up in like in 10 seconds, I will love you. All right. It's um, never gonna give you up. Gonna give you up. Yeah, because yeah. we don't want. I don't want them to sing it. Please. <laughs> I thought that was an awesome version, and I I've loved Paige since the beginning, and I've always thought that she's gonna go really far. Uh -huh. So I liked it. Wow, wow. really? What? Yes. I can be like all she all she has to be is good, and I like it. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> you, usually, you usually bring the truth. Usually, usually like you're our Simon. Thank you. Do I ruin oh. Christmas? <laughs> no. no, but you, no, but you're 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 a, you're a tough one to crack, and if you cracked it, that's awesome. Well, yes. all you have to do is uh, give a good performance and stay on. Are you Paula? Pitch. <laughs> Where are you, Paula? You're like, I'm so connected to you. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, or Brittany. Okay. Yeah, but no, no. With, with her performance, I like... I'm going to pass. Mark, what'd you think? No, I just, you know, I, it was funny how, um, I think it was Demi again, who was saying a lot of impressive things tonight when she said, you know, when you do a bigger performance, you place lower in the in the rankings. Mm -hmm. So this time, you know, they kind of debated, are they going to go huge? She wants to dance more, but she, you know, she should probably do a ballad, whatever. So they combined the two, like you guys have said. Um, but I just felt like her, she didn't overdo it this week. She looked like a star with the different image kind of change, which I think she is both. You know, she can do the crazy stuff like Lady Gaga almost. Um, but I, I just felt like this really worked the best for her because her voice was on point for the first time in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Like, like perfect on point for me. Um, I just felt like I was at her concert. Like, it definitely worked. Like, the dancers weren't too much. Um, I, d uh, I knew that placing a little bit higher from last week, she was going to get some more confidence. And now she's not really fighting for her life. She's just going out there and handling business. All right, so it sounds like we're all, <laughs> Layla. I think I think we're all gonna go to the Page concert then. Hopefully after yes. X Factor, because yeah, she's doing good. She's hey, what was it that uh, that Demi said that was really smart that we were like, oh yeah. That's what I, I just said. <laughs> but no, but the specific thing Mark's about like I thought at first was that was that when it. She does a bigger performance. She places lower. Oh right, I guess I guess <laughs> what I. Oh, all right. <laughs> and now it's time for a dance oh. break over here at After Buzz TV. It is from Sick. 1988. Mr. Rick Astley, never gonna give you up. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. I think I remember the lyrics. Ready? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're no strangers to love. Oh wow. <laughs> so JC does you sing. You know the rules <laughs> and so. <laughs> okay, that's it. Oh no, I uh, liked it. No, basically it was <laughs> the hey. same thing, but it was the same <laughs> thing. But uh, I was just thinking of when she was like, "You're less relatable," or people need to relate to you more, or something. Which yes, is yes, when she does it. Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. What did you think um, about um, JC's performance, Layla? Did you like his performance right there? You think it was good? Yeah, you liked it. You guys, that she has to be polite in the room. <laughs> I would say you're yes, number yes. nine. <laughs> wow. You better stop it. On the leaderboard. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. Okay. Number. <laughs> I'm sad. Layla, I liked it. two. Oh, oh, nice. Wow. Thank you there. We, we'd love to have you back next week. <laughs> they won't be around anymore. It'll just be you and me, Layla. We're going to have a cool show. <laughs> yeah. All right, So, but we got a lot of stuff to get to, guys, so let's move on to Simon the Man. Yes, the, the X Factors version of Michelle. Oh, whoa, wow. whoa, 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 whoa. I certainly, that is not. Much no. cuter. Yeah. Much, much cuter. What Sunburn Simon is? No, yeah. thank you. Okay, yeah. guys, is, if you guys are watching this upsetting. at home, was it our tent on our sh on our on our TV set, perhaps off or something? Did everyone look really red, and especially Simon? I think Ooh. they're just all really I think red right now. Really they, red. I think they got a tan. They got a tan. Mm -hmm. I think but they his, tried to. Yeah. His hand got was like red every time he started raving. It was like red. Yeah. Oh. Really? Is that self tanner? 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. Stay out of the sun, guys. Come on. That's for your own health. <laughs> Just in this, this moment, brought to you by AfterBuzz TV. All right. So <laughs> let's move on to Simon and his group and... Because AfterBuzz cares. All right, now. <laughs> Fifth Harmony, the girls. They've been getting in trouble. Like, they finished seventh last week, which I was surprised. Because I, I think they're pretty good, but... So the fans' feedback, I guess, is that they're singing the same song every week. They mm -hmm. did the same thing. So they thought they'd switch it up this week with the unfortunate loss of Allie, Allie's grandpa who, who passed away this past week. Mm -hmm. That was super touching. I literally, I, I know America's going to be really behind them, but vocally, did they really shine tonight? One of them did. The one, one out of the five. One, yeah, the, the one, one that, that sang, sang the most. The whole song. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> you know, it was, yeah, it was, it, I didn't expect him to do something like that. First of all, you know, it was kind of cheesy with the with the faces on the, on the uh, screens with the wind blowing the, and the fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> just, little, just I don't I don't know, it was very That's distracting. Hilarious. Like with that song, I felt like it was a cool song choice if they would have moved around a little bit more and given some of the other girls the parts cuz every time I was I was more paying attention to like <laughs> is she going to keep singing? You know, she sounds good, but yeah. is she going to keep singing? And then they gave yeah. the you know the end to um, the girl on the end, but I just I don't know if it's going to be enough because I, I really like them. I think they are extremely talented and they should do really well. But the song choice is just not doing it for me this week. Mm. Mm. So you would have liked to have heard more from like Normani or maybe even yeah. the Selena Gomez look like Camilla. Yeah, she just did, something. You, you didn't even see her this week. Mm -hmm. did, you, did, you, did you like them, Layla? I liked them, but like the fire in the back, it was very distracting. I like started staring at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it yeah, took away. that's what you do when you have giant flames on the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like on your car. Like on my car. Okay, yeah, usually because it's on fire. <laughs> 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 but uh, oh, but I totally agree, and I think that they are in this situation where they can really utilize like different parts, singing parts. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why they didn't do that. I thought that's like what their thing is. I don't know. Is there a, yeah, Melissa, do you know of any reason why they would not? <laughs> no. Tell us <laughs> why. No, because you, yeah. you guys are singers. You guys are, like, like, hey, we just talk. You know, Layla and I, we just talk away. You guys are the <laughs> singers. But uh, Layla, do you sing? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Very we'll have cool. to have you come back and maybe sing with us for sure. Have you seen oh. with Mark and the girls? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we got her. We got her back. So, yeah, why wouldn't they use all the I girls? don't know. It was weird. It was just like they all were singing the song together. Are they in trouble because of this? I think so. Um, but yeah, I... it's like the like one of them, it's like she was singing like the most. I thought she was like singing the whole song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She sounded good, but it just, it's like. It's a you it's like, group. I bet they're it's really like, good girls. Like, it's like you <laughs> like different the some of the like different girls and like you see one sing and then you see another sing but the one you like they're only singing as a group right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i think that might be that's i feel like with girl groups it's so hard to have longevity because of stuff like this if they have one girl singing the other girl is at first like oh yeah okay well maybe next time i'll get mine and then, <laughs> and then you don't and then you don't and they're like all right and they kind of that's going to turn them away from each other so I think, especially when you have so many great talent, talented mm -hmm. girls yeah. on, the, on the team, why would you not use them? Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. The either. only one they haven't used really is Normani, the one that right. was supposedely mm -hmm. dating Aaron Ray and mm -hmm. all this. You never really see her. We did see a tearful goodbye yes. <laughs> between and her and help. Aaron. <laughs> and it might be a tearful goodbye from them, from the sounds like from all of y'all. So better step it up, Fifth I don't know, Harmony. Yeah. Fifth dimension. Fifth dimension. <laughs> harmony, harmony, the harmony. The fifth element. <laughs> uh, anything fifth. Well, speaking of fifth, even though it has no, <laughs> no, no bearing. Well, actually, it does, speaking. but that's for a, for a different conversation. It's the guys from third, what, harmony? Third dimension. Uh, three. Emblem. 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 E equals three. There you go. E <laughs> equals three. Now, they were at our local <laughs> mall at the Grove, and they were looking for a shirt for our th third member from Emblem 3, because he never wears a shirt. He was always he's in his tank like, top. He's all, like, buff. He's all, mm. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's doing push-ups <laughs> all the time. So, so what did you think of the incredible hunk and his two, I mean, Hulk and his two, uh, <laughs> his two cohorts? Hunk or Hulk? <laughs> Call Your both. choice of words. Michelle, what did you get signed when you went to the Grove to see them? Did you get anything signed? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Did you meet Emblem Three? And yeah. my car signed. They car, they signed my car. Yeah, I have to sign everything. Wow, that was I on own. fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hold on, breaking news. Did you meet Emblem Three? No, 3? I just I've just it was she just a them. fantasy. She hates them. Okay. <laughs> it's a fantasy. 
No, and I've heard actually outside is I have a friend who uh, <laughs> who ran into him on the red carpet actually and tried to get an interview from them and they totally Hollywooder. Hollywood oh, really? her. Really? Yes, they're like, oh, we're not allowed to talk about it, right? And they just split, and you can tell. And she's like, everyone else is talking to me except for them. <gasps> they jump so, to the nearest pond. Yeah. Like, oh, can't do it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, we're going swimming and surfing. Bro. Okay, so now that we've said just god awful things about Emblem 3, what, what do we think about the performance? I'm a believer, the monkeys, you know, a very current song, absolutely not. But um, what'd you guys think of it? Um, I, they, I think that. Uh, uh, they're more, they have like a more like a hip vibe to them and, and I feel like uh, Simon is like one directioning it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like making it way poppier than it is when they have <laughs> something more like They have hip. something different, yeah, would than you one direction. Would you guys be afraid of, let's say Simon's pushing them in such a way to be this pop package mm -hmm. and for, you know, a lot of the younger demographic, they're gonna buy into it and they could win, and they're going to be stuck in this One Direction type of music for years to come when they don't really get to express their true voice, who they really are. Because they're yeah. more of like a sublime, like we always talk about, they've mm -hmm. got more of that sublime kind of vibe to them. Mm -hmm. So are they going to be stuck in this whole like pop, H-E double No, they're not going to be stuck in there. No? No, man. No, okay. <laughs> no, here's what I think. You're one of them, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not, we're not going to be. Um, no, what, what I think is they're definitely playing the game, and Simon is really making them believers into playing the game. Okay. Because, like, this definitely was an Emblem 3 that we saw. That was One Direction in, yeah. you know, costume. In three bodies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Morph. Um, but and it was, camo. It was, yeah. It was so, it was so boy bandy that, um, but it, I, I liked the performance. Like, if it wasn't Emblem 3, I, I really liked the performance. I felt like it didn't lack anything. I felt like it was fun. Everything was real cool. And the girl dancers and stuff, like, that definitely can work for them. Um I Next week when they, s you didn't no, know, like didn't. with the like USA stuff on. I know. Wow, <laughs> I didn't notice that at all. Actually, yeah, did staring you? Staring at his muscles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't have anything bad to say about the performance except for that it's it really isn't them. And they it, they even you know blurted out when they weren't supposed to be talking right. that they're going to be playing wow. instruments next week. So I think that they're going to be they're going to do well this week. And um, I, it definitely worked for them, but it's not them, so we have more to see from them. What, mm -hmm. yeah. you, what did you guys think about know. them, like, blurting stuff out? That's well, them. That's yeah, and they were, they were like, we have original music, like mm -hmm. you know? Layla, are you a big One Direction fan? Do you like One Direction? Yes, I love One Direction. Oh, you love them? Okay, so do you like Emblem 3? Oh. Sort of. But it's <laughs> they're like, okay, okay. I think, like, they're, they're turning there. into, like, One Direction 2. Right. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, two directions. Two directions. <laughs> <laughs> so, you like, okay, so they're okay. So, they're, they're, they're okay in your eyes. They're fun. And they are. They're fun and they're entertaining. Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Did you like the song choice? I didn't like the song choice, but they, they, did, a, they did the best they could with it. They actually mm -hmm. were entertaining. I can see them sticking around, absolutely. And remember, One Direction didn't win X Factor. They finished third, mm. and yeah. they're the biggest band of all right, right now in the it's true of out of in the, in the world the, right now. Yeah. Really, boy band. They, oh, yeah. Remember the Wanted? What happened to them? Gone. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so maybe Vino and Lon should stay in third. <laughs> <Just> yeah, like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. A, a lot of people that finished third. Let's see. Uh, oh no, that was in another uh, singing competition. Chris Daughtry, the the Chris Daughtry syndrome. Mm -hmm. You finish fourth or third. They usually do better than the winners. So. That's yeah, true. Yeah, it's that happens. <clears throat> Did yeah. Jennifer Hudson win? Absolutely not. Yeah, she didn't win, so. No, she, she won an Oscar. Oh, right. She, <laughs> she won an won Oscar. Life, yeah. yeah, afterwards. You know, yeah. And a Grammy. Yeah. And Tony Award. And, and yeah, the Sex and the and City my, movie. She won And my, my Heart. She won that. And she won <laughs> Marky <laughs> Allen's Heart. <laughs> Bam. Well, before we, fi we figure out Smooth. who's going to finish third for this season of The X Factor, we're going to move on to a little, our special segment, of course, with our Miss Layla Crawford. Woo! And we got a little video of some of your work, actually, Layla. So if Martin will do us the pleasure of placing the video up on, on screen. I think we should start texting other people. Oh. Now, is this from the first family? They're seeing it online. They oh, they can see it too. online? Okay. We're hungry, Dad! Make a whole village! Starting with their brains! We have brains! <laughs> mm -hmm. Juicy brains! <laughs> and we're dead! <laughs> no, you're not supposed to watch scary movies. Mommy said not to plop us in front of the TV. 
You plopped us! <laughs> Right, because. right, you can't leave this room because it's the only place where your brains are safe. We're gonna have to stay in this room forever! If we're lucky, the hungry dead will get us before mom and dad do. <laughs> wow, bravo! Hey, Ooh, Layla! Yeah. Yeah. Great scene! Now, Layla, you're like, you're the, one of the busiest actors I know, literally you're... You're working with LL Cool J on NCIS. You're working on The First Family. What's it like having such a busy schedule? What's it like on The First Family? It's really fun. And since of the holidays, like, we just stopped filming today. It was like our last day. Mm -hmm. But we're going back in like January's. But it's really fun filming with like other people. It's like you meet people you've seen on TV. Right. Like that girl in the in the little taping, the older one, she Is that Jack Hay? No. No, not Jack Hay. <laughs> that she was like in a movie I used to love and like I'm like I look like up all the names, I'm like going through the cast list and I'm like, Oh my gosh, that's her. Oh my <laughs> goodness. So like start blurting out stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so do you like filming? Do you like acting? I love acting and filming different episodes because sometimes they'll surprise you. You don't know what it's going to be about. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you'll get sides, but, like, sometimes the sides won't tell you everything, like, about the episode. But then if you book it, you do the episode, and then you see, like, what it's about. It's really surprising. Mm -hmm. some, some inside the industry talk going on here. Mm -hmm. um, really breaking it down. And what is it like uh, the, to know that you're working with all these actors that you love so much? Like LL Cool J and NCIS? How cool is that? It was really cool, but I met him before. Mm. Like, I was on NCIS. I just, I was, like, background, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I went on an audition. My mom's like, this is your part. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's like when, we, when I worked with him, again, like, we're going through the set, and we see, because, like, in the first time we were doing the, fo the shoot, we were, like, we did, like, a photo thing, just a photo shoot. And mm -hmm. then, like, you, like, I was walking around set. I see a photo of me and him from one of the photo shoots. And I'm like, I never th knew they were going to use one of those. It was so fun. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So, so awesome. you're, and you're playing his daughter, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so yeah. LL Cool J's daughter. And now what's this? And also you have enough time to just be an amazing student as well. Aren't you like a, like a, what is it? In first Honor grade. Roll? Yeah, I roll. was I was on honor roll. I am still am, but in first grade I was class president. Oh, oh cool. very wow. cool. Like student council, like, and then first grade and second grade were put together. So it's like my one of my friends in second grade. She was like president with me, and we would like we had to go to meetings. Mm -hmm. Friday meetings all the time, but it was still a half day. We'd be like staying like after shoot, after school a little bit, and it would be fun. We'd be like, like saying ideas of what we do for like Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. Really fun. So cool. you're really busy. So See, now so outside it, of oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say when it comes to choosing between politics and the film industry. <laughs> Do you uh, see yourself now keeping it pretty balanced or doing I everything? Do. Yeah, like doing, being on like some shows, big people, like on the show with me, and it would be fun. So if you're, if you're doing, you're busy, you know, working all the time and, and with school and everything, do you ever get a chance to, to let loose and, and do any other fun things, like sports or anything like that? I play soccer. Oh, you play soccer? Mm -hmm. It's like soccer season's almost over. I, like, have my, I have all my games on, like, Saturdays and Sundays. Mm -hmm. And, like, my last game's either on Saturday and Sunday this week. Yeah, this week. And so it's like... A lot of people are coming for the last game because, like, every last game we always win. Oh, cool. It's nice. like, we're all like, we're always like, this is our last chance to make it. So it's like last game we always win. 
Awesome. awesome. And Very now we cool. brought you on because we know, you know, with all your work and whatnot, you're a big super fan of the X Factor. So we got you here. So we want to find out who who's your favorite. Who do you think is going to win it all? I think Diamond White will win. Diamond's your favorite? Okay. Yes. She's like one of my cousin's friends. She's just like growing up and it's like... I follow her, it's like so cool, and then like when I watch The X Factor, sometimes I'll be like, I'll watch it through the show, and like my mom will be like, it's time to go to bed. I'll be like, just give to Diamond now, can you play <laughs> <laughs> I know, we've, we've kept you up super duper late, yeah, I hope no. it's not too late, but thank you so much for joining us today, and mm -hmm. is there anything we can watch you, so we can watch you on The First Family? And, and, and NCIS, okay. and... Note to self. That's right. Note to self. Tell us a little bit about that and before we move on. Well, like the person who played my mom was actually my cousin. Oh, on in my real life. Real mom's co yeah, on, she's my cousin in real life, and she's on my real mom's side. Oh. It's really cool because like we found out like like looking through the cast and we just found out like oh. Oh, that's your cousin and I'm like what how and then it's so <laughs> funny just going through so, wow. so it's a lot of got a lot of stuff going on so we promise we won't keep you up too much later after this because actually we're gonna end up wrapping up here in a few seconds so a big round of applause for Layla Crawford yeah. Yay. thank you so much so thank you so much for coming in thank, thank you, you. so we're running a little bit out of time because we got the Nashville girls coming up so let's move on to predictions Let's do it. <laughs> and now, Spooky, huh? your After Buzz TV <clears throat> predictions. All right, we all know that at the X Factor, it's not about who we're kicking off right off the bat. We would like to talk about our favorite performer of the evening, starting with Melissa. Oh, oh, wow. Um, who is your favorite person oh, wow. tonight? Um, <laughs> Just say Carly every week. Uh, <laughs> I know, like, I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to say... Um, Paige Thomas. Ooh. Paige Thomas, her favorite. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone agree or disagree? Mark, you don't count. Who's your favorite, Michelle? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Carly. She did really good. Carly Rose. I'm, I'm going to go with Carly as well and with Paige with a close second. Ooh. Oh. What about you, JC? I'm going with Carly, of course. Carly's my girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Carly's awesome. And Tate, even though with the guitar stuff, just vocally and just the performance itself, it was fun. It was entertaining. I can see them both outside of X Factor. Easily. Oh. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what my your favorite? favorite is Diamond White, as mm -hmm. I said. <laughs> but I also think, I also like Carly Rose. Mm -hmm. And she's really good it's like it's so funny how she performs it's like you come out you think she's gonna be good she comes out it's like she sounds like she's adele mm. it's so cool mm -hmm. nice amazing nice. all right so this this comes to the, the the rough part of the night who's going home Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you're gonna go with me? Yeah. Where's my crystal ball at, man? Yes. Yeah, 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 go get yeah. It. Crystal ball guy, defend. Yes, if you can defend um, your first, your title. Yes. All right. Who do so you, this is what home? this is what I've never been more certain about anything in my life. Oh, oh wow. wow! Now that he got a right once. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> um, CC Fry is going home, and oh. it's gonna be a battle between Vino Alan and Fifth Harmony, and Fifth Harmony is also gonna go home. Fifth Harmony. Ooh, wow. wow. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Even though I like it. Layla already knows. She's like, you guys, while you guys are thinking about it, who do you think is going home tomorrow, Layla? I think Cece High, Cece Fry is going home. Yeah. Uh, but I also think that mm, it's going to be maybe Paige. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Mm. She's not one to shy away from controversy. Nope, there we go. <laughs> yeah. That's a good call. I see. Anyone but, agreed? Oh. But I think it's going to be a battle between Tate and Vina. Mm, to interesting. Go, to go home tomorrow or, or to... Mm. To go home tomorrow. Okay. Wow. Oh wow. She's ruffling feathers. Yeah. 
Oh. All right, Macedos, you guys, uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> Mel- uh, sorry, Melissa. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what, Cece. Cece's going home? Yeah, she's going home. I think Cece. Not enough marmalade? Not enough oh. marmalade. I think Cece, and I think uh, Fifth Dimension Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> fifth, fifth. Okay. The five girls. <laughs> all right, all right. So there we have it. We what? Why are you pointing at me? Oh, well, you already I'm said. Like, you already said what you. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Come hey, on. You can't get away with it. I know. You I put everyone get on the spot. I, <laughs> all right. Who is going home right off the bat? Paige. Oh. <laughs> what? Yes. Paige. What? I know. Really? It's the reason being is we're at the top eight right now and. Sorry, the smallest thing will send you home now. Now it's not about favorites. Right. I think it's just the best of the best now. So she, it's interchangeable between her and Cece. But I really just think Paige and my shocker. I'm calling a shocker. Uh-oh. Vino. Vino. Oh. Really? Vino is going home. Do you think he's going to win the battle between Fifth Harmony and himself? Oh, oh yeah. It's, it's, ooh, that's right. That's right. So it's going to be Vino versus, um, yeah, I guess, yeah, Fifth Harmony. Right there, okay. Yeah, and, ah. Uh, yeah, I, th- I'm, I, I think they're going to ruffle feathers. I think they're really going to try to shake things up and yeah. they're going to exit and they're going to kick out Vino. Because uh-huh. they've, they've already got tape there. So yeah. I think Vino's going home. So I think that's it, guys. So we're about to let's wrap up. And any plugs, anything, anywhere we can see you now. Layla, what's your Twitter? I think I got it here for you. The real Layla C. She's got it. <laughs> She's got it. There we go. That, awesome. Now, Melissa, where can we find you? At uh, Melissa Macedo M. Michelle? You can find me at Macedo Music. You can find me at Mark E. Allen. Hey, Martin, where can we find you, buddy? Right here in I the booth was... every day, <laughs> all day. <Woo. laughs> I knew you were going to say that. You say that every week. We're going to get a Twitter handle out of you next week, I swear. And we just got to make I'm not one cool for enough him. to be on Twitter. Oh, and JC, oh, where can we find you? Yeah. You can find me at The Everyday Man, and you can find all of us at AfterBuzz TV. Stick around to w- catch the girls from Nashville. So for Layla, Melissa, Michelle, Mark, I'm JC. We're the X Factor After Show. We'll see you next time. Good night, from everybody. Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.